y'all this is april joy welcome back to my channel um today is the last day in 2019 i am feeling regal you know what i'm saying i'm feeling godly i just feel thankful for you know being alive and being able to witness it what a time to be alive we are about to make a big transition and i just feel like i couldn't think of a better video to encourage my subscribers to really take some time and reflect you know analyze the energy of the company that we choose to keep this is year 2020 it's time to really maneuver in a way that serves you in your entirety you know this is truly the gloss up year not glow up it's the gloss up year we really need to take the time to really channel our energy to the right things you know we need to eliminate distractions eliminate people who do not serve us you know eliminate people who you feel like you have nothing in common with and you're just forcing it you got to do you regardless you know what I'm saying? And it's not about stunting on your haters. It's not about, you know, getting revenge. It's about being the best version of yourself. It's about truly getting in alignment with what you want to do and who you really want to be. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all that really matters at the end of the day. I think that this is like the perfect video to start the year off with. Making sure that we are really challenging ourselves, you know, to stick to our newfound goals, you know. Stick to things that are going to keep the momentum going. That's going to help you elevate. There's no elevation without the process of elimination. So really take the time to look at who's around you and what's going on, you know. With that being said, let's get right into it. We really have to take a closer look at the dynamics of the relationships that we keep around us. For instance, we have to ask ourselves certain questions. Is this person adding value to me? Are they truly honoring me and my friendship or my relationship with them? Or do you feel like a person is draining you? Do you feel like, you know, they have no significant purpose in your life? These are things that you have to ask yourself. Just because you have history with people, it doesn't mean you have to tolerate their toxic behavior. You don't have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations just to please, you know, a friend, a family member, or a lover. Because in the long run, it's going to take a toll on you. We have to stop guilt tripping ourselves into holding on to unhealthy relationships because at the end of the day, if your peace of mind isn't your main priority, then your priorities are not in check. If you feel deep down in your soul that somebody's energy is off, you feel like they have underlying issues that they haven't dealt with, you have to understand that you did not sign up to be somebody's emotional experiments. That's not a role, you know, that you have to fulfill. You truly have to leave people in their filth. You know, you have to eliminate the people who walk around mad at the world. You know, people who are constantly putting you in situations where they're testing your loyalty just to make themselves feel powerful. People who are angry, bitter. You know, people who just can't see the good in life. Fake supportive people, self-absorbed people. The list goes on. You gotta let them people go. Because it's a true betrayal to yourself to really go against your spirit and your natural state. You know, allowing people's energy to overtake you will truly drain you. You're doing yourself a, a real disservice by letting people slide with their bullshit. People know what they be doing, you know? <laughs> people know exactly what they be doing. It's just a matter of like, if you gonna keep letting it go on or not, you know? Time stops for nobody. The earthly clock keeps on ticking whether you're conscious of it or not. So while you're here, why not have the best experience that you can possibly have, you know? Why not be in alignment with people who truly, you know, honor you and your friendship, who truly have you in their best interest, who truly have your back? People who you don't have to second guess their intentions when they're around you. Relationships, too. If you don't feel comfortable with the person, you think they're sneaky and grimy, um, you think they're a cheater, you think, you know, that you can't find anybody better than them. You got to build your confidence up and really understand that, you know, like I always say. Nothing goes on that you do not allow. So if you allow yourself to feel that way, that's your fault. You know what feels good. You know what doesn't feel good. We have to stop ignoring, you know, our intuition. We have to stop ignoring our gut, our discernment. Stop having high hopes for people who have been showing you who they are on a consistent basis. Like, people do not change. Like, for real. Unless they go through some, like, really drastic like um counseling unless they are really like committed to turn their life around wholeheartedly no people don't change so who they are is who they're always going to be i don't care what you say so you can either accept it or you can move forward that's like getting in the boxing ring knowing you can't fight and getting beat up you know you keep getting back in you know you get in there boop 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 now you got a black eye you step out get back in boop boop now you in a neck brace 
it's like you getting beat up, you know, <laughs> you're putting yourself in situations where you know you're going to be disappointed in the end. So just eliminate it as a whole so you won't have to have these negative feelings brewing. Just dead it completely for your own well-being. You know, if you feel like you don't mess with somebody, simply cut them off. Bye. Nobody is forcing you to take the, the uh, verbal abuse, the, the subconscious um, slugs they be trying to throw. And I get it. You may love harder than others. And you may wish that people would reciprocate that back to you. In some friendships, I probably felt like I was more delicate with people than they were with me. But that's not going to change how I am to the next person. You have to come to the realization that people are going to be stuck in their ways. And we are depriving ourselves of possible relationships with other good people. You know, there might be a possible good friend to you or a possible lover for you out there. But you're depriving yourself because you haven't eliminated the toxic people who are currently taking up your space. They're really in the way. Like you have to put yourself in new environments and give yourself the opportunity to experience new energies, you know, to really decide what it is that you want to do. I don't believe in the whole, you know, no new friends vibe. I don't believe in the whole, I don't, I don't mess with nobody, this, this, and that. People like that are truly broken. People like that don't know how to be friends. People like that don't have warm, welcoming energy because they're so stuck inside of themselves and they, you know, they're just negative. I feel like you have to be optimistic and at any stage in your life, you know, you can meet a new friend or a new lover because you can meet people at different phases in your life who will truly be a great friend or lover to you more than somebody who's been around for years. So do not let history get you caught up. It's always a time for everything. Yeah, but you know, to sum it all up, when you drop the dead weight, you elevate. You know what I'm saying? Um, you owe it to yourself to go through the process of elimination and truly make yourself happy. But in the same breath, you don't have to be bitter or feel some type of way when you make that separation. It's okay to wish people well. It's okay to love people from a distance, but you just gotta love yourself a little bit more. We go on to 2020, it's new vibes, it's new energy. I hope everybody has a great year. Um, keep the grass cut, you know what I'm saying? Look out for the snakes, keep the grass cut, you know, keep feeding your mind with positivity, keep encouraging yourself, stay on top of your goals and your New Year's resolutions, and yeah, good luck. I love me. I love me.